everybody and welcome on my YouTube channel. You are with uh, Alan Dries and today I'm on the test server to test for you a new hero who is uh, now available on the test server. She was visible from a long time, but only from today I can use her. It's Sky Guardian. Straight as the eagle flies. I don't know exactly where will be available uh, Sky Guardian, but I can tell that it will be probably an event hero, so perhaps she will be available in June, perhaps in July, perhaps for the uh, release of the level 110, I don't know exactly. Her uh, skin is uh, uh, pretty uh, classical, she looks like an Amazon with a crossbow in the end. About her uh, uh, statistics, she is a woman, she is an archery hero and she is also a heroine. So, we can see that uh, she has something like 48,000 HP, 7,800 of uh, attack power, 720 of armor class, 300 of magical resistance, nearly 2,000 of uh, critical score, so it's a pretty height, and 221 of uh, armor uh, penetration. So, it's an offensive uh, hero, for sure, and with her uh, training field, we will add 22,000 HP, 3,740 of attack damage, and 362 uh, physical uh, critique. So, we will have one hero with 70,000 HP, 11,500 uh, attack power, and more than uh, 2,300 uh, critical score. So, she is uh, definitely a really aggressive hero. Let's check her skills right now. The ultimate skill of Sky Guardian is Air Red. Michelle is broke into the air by her Divine Eagle, dealing damage to enemies multiple times. Increases 8,400 damage. I want to know if this skill is a single target or if it's area damage. It will be really interesting. Crossbow, the green skill. Michelle fires off multiple arrows to strike enemies, increases 6825. And other times, enemy is in a plural, so perhaps it's uh, area damage. We will see it right after. Eagle Strike. Michelle's eagles attack an enemy and blinds him, increases 4725 damage and blind in according of the level. It seems to be a single target uh, skill, so. It's, it will be interesting to check it during the test. And finally, the purple skill, Eagle Mark. Michel marks a target. The marked target will receive additional damage when Michel's and her eagle attack him. Increases max damage by 10,500 and it will be marked in according of the level. Look like pretty strong. And I want to know how much time will stay the uh, debuff on the target. Perhaps uh, she will refresh it every time that she will eat. So it will be for a wall fight on the target that she is eating. In this fact, it looks uh, pretty strong. And like I told in the introduction, really aggressive. So we will see it in little fight. But before, let's check our position on the battlefield. Sky Guardian is a backlaner and her statistics are not so uh, defensive. She has a good armor, but her uh, magical resistance is uh, pretty low. So we will see exactly where she will be in the backlane. Okay, actually, she's far behind because she's even uh, behind Witch. Okay, Tower Prophet is behind her, Thunder Beast also. She's in front of Puppet Master, in front of Sorceress. Okay. It'll be interesting to see where is Lightbringer. Lightbringer is behind her, so it's good. Ah. Uh, up. Chaplain is in front. This is not so good. <laughs> okay, Commando in front also. Oh, it's uh, it's over. It's all from the backliner. So, position she can be protect. 
Sometimes she can be in last position in according of the uh, setup that you are using. So nothing crazy bad, nothing uh, crazy good. We will see how her skills are working right now. So in one versus one, if I can tell, we will see. So she begins by the fourth skill. It's interesting. It's the Mark Roy 25,000. <laughs> <laughs> What are these damages? Okay, the blind is a single target, like we could think. And first and second skill are single target, but if the target uh, is dying, it will go uh, behind. The mark is for wall fight, so the skill number four is staying uh, all the time till the target uh, will die. I know. It's go after uh, something like 10 15 seconds. Oh la 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 the damage. So, statistic of the fight <laughs> 278,000 damage in uh, 40 seconds. Whew. I think uh, she's uh, really really aggressive. So, let's uh, do the damage test now. For the damage test, uh, we will see what the Sky Guardian is able to do. I don't think that it will be a huge difference between uh, one hero or five hero as far as she's uh, doing single target damage most of the time. So, we will see uh, the result. I will accelerate a little bit. Oh, she killed the uh, Death Knight. We'll see the result soon, but yes, I, I, I'm not so impressed uh, than what I was thinking in first impression, but finally it's logical. Okay, so, statistic, 360,000, so, not bad for sure, but uh, nothing crazy, but like I was thinking, it's single target damage, so we have nearly the same result in 1 versus 1 than in a full, uh, full team. So, we will see now in real fight. For this first match, I'm fighting a meta Turtle Fighter team with Turtle Fighter, Cross Knight, Steel Champion, Magic Breaker, and Wind Priest. Against this team, I know that if I'm using Magical Champion, I will not have the advantage due to a Magic Breaker who is really strong against Magical Heroes. So, I did a setup a full physical more or less, and a setup who will move a lot, because to counter the ultimate of uh, Wind Priest, I need to have some arrows or some image who will go in another place. So I have image of uh, Avenger, I have Steel Champion Ultimate, I have the uh, um, second skill of uh, Crypt Monster, and I have for sure the role of a Turtle Fighter. So with that, I think I will uh, control the effect of uh, Wind Priest uh, damage. So let's check uh, the result of uh, this match. So we'll see. I hope that uh, my damage will be uh, nice. Sky Guardian is uh, not focusing Turtle Fighter, unfortunately. My Crypt Monster is Taunt. This is really bad for me. Because normally, my Crypt Monster should do his ultimate, but no, he's not doing nothing because he's taunted. Whoa, this damage will be crazy. Fortunately, still Champion Jump. Okay. So what we have, we have Steel Champion and Sky Guardian against Steel Champion, Cross Knight and Magic Breaker. You can see in this situation that she has a lot of uh, life steal and she's able to uh, recover her life easily. Ultimate of uh, Cross Knight is really strong against uh, Sky Guardian, but I killed him. 
So I will not have time to finish the match, unfortunately. It's pity because it was not far. Oh, damage are really nice. And finally, we will see the score. Okay, I'm winning by damage, but it doesn't matter. And it's pity that my crit monster was taunted, because if not, I think I could win uh, more easily this match. 290,000 uh, damage for uh, Sky Guardian. In one situation where she's not uh, at her advantage, she's blinded by Turtle Fighter. She has Cross Knight with uh, absorbing a lot of physical damage with his ultimate, and even when he has not his ultimate uh, with uh, activated. So... It's not bad, it's not a crazy game breaker, but it's uh, not bad. Let's see now another situation. For this second match, I'm fighting a Cross Knight team, full physical oriented. So I have a Cross Knight, Divine Knight, Bloody Earl, Vengeance Spirit and Puppet Master in front of me. So what I'm doing, I put a crazy strong front lane with a Cross Knight also with Divine Knight to deny the lifesteal of enemies and I put Avenger to have the advantage of the burst. Wind Priest, I'm not sure that it's the best choice but I hope that he will kill Bloody Earl when a Bloody Earl will move and I have a Sky Guardian who will be able to deal damage with a Bloody Earl and to deal huge damage against this setup with a not crazy a mobile accepted uh, Bloody Earl. So let's check the result. You see, finally, I'm not interrupted because of uh, Avenger uh, Rush, so it's uh, really interesting. Pity, I, I could nearly kill directly Cross Knight, but I didn't do. Oh, Bloody Earl, uh, interrupt. Okay, but he will die anyway. It's not bad. Ooh, I think, I think Wind Priest will die. Oh, he's still alive, but not for a long time. Yes, he's dead. So what will do um, Sky Guardian? She has a lot of avoidance for the moment. It's not bad. She will have ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. Yes. Oh, and when she jump, it cancels the ultimate of a Puppet Master. So it's uh, really nice. And let's check the damage result. 281,000. So in this situation, she's able to shine a little more. And she kill one by one all uh, targets that she has in front of her. And don't forget that... Cross Knight is not good for her at all because I think Cross Knight is countering uh, Sky Guardian uh, really good. For this last situation, I have in front of me one undead team with a Death Knight, Ghost Knight, Bloody Earl, a skeleton Mage and a Sorceress. So I know that a Skeleton Mage can be a problem. That's why I'm using a Tarot Prophet who will be normally able to uh, kill him uh, quickly. Especially in front lane, I have uh, the new tank who is uh, dealing a good amount of damage in front of him. So he will help in area damage to uh, decrease the HP of a Skeleton Mage. We have the burst with Avenger who will help me to control the damage of a sorceress as well. Uh, Crypt Monster is here to deny, to delay uh, most of the time Intel Arrows, so it will be sorceress or a skeleton mage. And we have uh, for the damage and for every kill, we have a Sky Guardian, I think will help a lot. So let's check the result. The Substain of Dragon Rider is just crazy. You see, like I was thinking, Skeleton Mage is uh, nearly dead already. He will ulti, but it uh, doesn't matter. Our Bloody Earl will kill Crypt Monster, unfortunately. Okay, but Bloody Earl is dead. Now we'll have the ultimate of Avenger, the ultimate of Dragon Rider. <laughs> the life, <laughs> the life of Dragon Rider, it's, it's just crazy. Resize the damage, but it's not so so horrible. Full stun, and she will kill all. Perfect. Statistic of the match: two hundred thirteen thousand. So it's not bad at all, like you can see. And in this situation, she's uh, 
really interesting because excepted Bloody Earl will mess a little bit, the rest of the team is static and uh, with, when your team is static, it's really good to have some heroes who are uh, dealing single target uh, damage. So, it's all for fights, let's now speak about strengths and weaknesses. Three points as a strength for uh, Sky Guardian. So the first point, she is not squishy. It's important. She's in back lane, but she will not die in one hit like we can have with a time traveler or some heroes uh, like that. So it's uh, pretty interesting. The second point is linked to the first point, but finally, when she loses some HP, she's able to recover her HP pretty quickly with her sustain. A lot of life steal, and it will help her a lot. And finally, the best point, she is really good to nuke one enemy in front of her. Until she applied the uh, debuff with her uh, fourth skills, she will uh, deal amazing damage in this uh, target. So, for example, she debuffs the tank, if nobody is messing her, she will be able to kill the tank pretty quickly and it's really nice. So, let's now speak about her weaknesses. Two points as weaknesses for a Sky Guardian. First point, she is definitely a single target damage dealer and when you compare with uh, Wind Priest or Sorceress or some heroes who are able to deal massive area damage, she's really far behind in these situations. But like I told, as single target damage dealer, she's uh, pretty good. And the second point, be careful with enemy who are blinding. If you have in front of you Armed Escort, Turtle Fighter or some heroes who are able uh, to blind, now it's um, some several heroes uh, in the game, you will have a problem and you will lose a lot of uh, damage. So it's all for her weaknesses. Let's now check her final evaluation. For me, Sky Guardian uh, will be suitable in Grand Arena, Grand Tournament, War of the God in a Championship. It's definitely not a game changer, but in a lot of situations, she will be able to shine. And if she kill one hero, most of the time, she will be able to snowball and to kill another with her ultimate. She has a decent sustain, a lot of lifesteal, so... You can invest on her, if you like her, it will be not lost. It's all uh, for today, it's now time to conclude. Thank you everybody for watching this uh, video, don't hesitate to subscribe, like and share to uh, support my work if you enjoy it. See you soon for another video, bye bye.